real responses to very difficult client situations, this is going to be fun. I'm going to be the client. I'm going to give Tracy a lot of hell. She's going to give actual responses that she would give if she was in the salon today. We're going to cover this right now on the Biz Talk. First question. I'm hungry. Do you like I my want, shoes? I want food. Um, yeah, I do like your shoes. I went old school. Those are cool, man. Don't, but don't copy my. No. Do you like my socks? Now you're trying no. to go shoes. No, the no, shoes no. are better than socks, by the way. <laughs> Dude, come up with your own no. thing. Shoes. That's my thing. Is like check out my socks. Which look at my socks. <laughs> don't they're buy black. My, they're black. They're black. What am I supposed to look at? <laughs> they're not black. They're green with like little blue flowers on them. They're adorbs is how I'd like okay, to describe can it. Can we just get into the subject now? <laughs> You're the one that started it, man. Because I have cool shoes on. You do have cool shoes, actually. Those are dope. I like those. Um, okay. So we're going to get into actual responses. So here's the deal. Um, a lot of people have been asking, how do you deal with certain situations that come up in the salon? And we've talked about communication. We've actually talked about communication. Communication is the key. Steph um, talked to us this morning and she was saying, hey, why don't we actually do like a role play where, you know, it's like you're a client and Tracy's the tech and she's going to give the actual response with the proper tone, which I think <laughs> you got to be nice, which I think is probably one of the most important things in communicating to a client when they're kind of going off and you need to bring them back um into your nail world but i think tone is going to be huge and how you say it so we're going to give this a run i think it will be a very useful and helpful um tool for you probably save this video i would say i think that yeah because you tend to forget things and when you have a situation come up you just run into the bathroom Push play. <laughs> Push play. Listen to Tracy. Go Just off on me. Just hand him the phone. <laughs> yeah, hand him the phone. Watch this. Okay. So the first situation is um, some type of cancellation. So this is an example we got from one of our mentors yep. who um, said the client came in. She was booked for toes and a nail service, but when she came in, she canceled her toe service mm -hmm. and said, oh, my toes actually look fine. I just want to do the nail service. Which is not okay. Nope. Okay, so let's run through this, okay? Yep. We're going to go through this and Tracy can give the response. So here we go. Okay. Hey, I'm ready for my service. I'm super excited. But by the way, Tracy, I just want to let you know, my toes are, they're actually good. Like I came in and I looked at them and I was like, you know what? I don't need my toes done. So I'm just going to take my uh, my nail appointment today. Cool. Well, you know, Habib, I actually already ran your water for your pedicure, so, and I've already gotten everything ready, so that's really kind of, I wasn't expecting that, and I have booked you for the service, so I think we should just probably go ahead and do it. Okay, but I, I mean, I don't, look at, look at my toes, I, I don't really need them, Tracy. I don't want to look at your toes. <laughs> okay. They don't sorry, actually sorry, sorry, sorry. Toes. Okay, okay, let's stay um, on track okay. here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to look at my toes either. <laughs> um, but like if you if you look like they're they actually look good. I thought I needed the appointment. I mean, my bad. You know, it can can I can I pay for them now, but then you just rebook me later. You know what? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. This this one time, just in the future, if you're gonna cancel, we definitely need to cancel ahead of time because the spot has been booked for you. I could have got someone else into that spot. So I'm kind of stuck now i'm gonna have an hour gap in my day plus i'm losing that income but you know what don't worry about it we'll figure it out next time just just in the future no we need to know this ahead of time perfect i love that tracy because the for me like as a business person i think that was like such a great example of great customer service but you communicated like from the get like yeah. from the beginning you set the boundary of like, hey, look, I already got the water ready. Let's like, let's do let's the service. Do this, yeah. And and even though I and you know, obviously, you put it kind of back on me, mm -hmm. the the customer. 
Um, but it wasn't, it was, it was very nice still. And I really didn't want the service. I'm like, God, I don't want the service. And you're like, okay, cool. That's fine. This one time. Yeah. I'm let it, I'm let it go. But like you communicated very clear, look for the future, please let me know because yeah. it's, it messes up my whole day. Now I have a gap yep. and I lose income. Yeah. And I have had the situation before where someone's coming in and done it another time. And that conversation mm. changes just a tad. So basically what I told him is... Wait, wait. Can we run through that? Yeah, let's Sorry. Do okay. So I come in again. Hey, Trace. Um, mm -hmm. I know, you know, last time you told me, but like, like I really don't need a pedicure. So I'm going to cancel that. Like, I'm really sorry, I, but I don't need it. Okay, Habib. Now, we've already done this once. And if you remember, I talked to you like we really need to communicate this prior because again... Let me give you a for instance that, you know, I know you work. If you showed up to work and they said, hey, you're not going to work for another hour, but just sit there, you know, and you're not getting paid for that hour. Obviously, that would if that would affect your income. And plus, it's, it's not very fun to do to have a, a gap in your day. So, again, this this I, I can't really let it go this time. I'm going to have to have you either pay for the appointment or go ahead and take the appointment. I'm looking. You need it anyway. I know you're, <laughs> you're trying to get by, but you need it anyway. So let's go ahead and just do it. I mean, you love getting pedicures anyway. Let's let's just do it. Cool. Cool. And if I resist and if I said, look, Tracy, I I I really I don't need it. Like, I can't do this. Um, You know what? What can we do? Is there anything that we can do? I would say, you know what, Hubby, what I'm going to do is this seems to be an appointment that you don't need on a regular basis. So I think in the future what we'll do is, you know, if I have time when you come in, if I'm available to give you the service and you decide you need it that day, um, give me a call ahead. Um, but I'm not going to book you for this appointment anymore. Okay. So that's like pretty much then would you then charge them at that point? Like, like, or would you just be like, now I'm done. Like, I'm not going to charge you, but you're yeah. not getting this slot. Yeah. Anymore. I think it would probably be a conversation of, you know what? So we have two choices here, Habib. One, either you have to start paying for the service before prior and you can't move that appointment or two, you know what? Since it's one of those things that you don't need all the time, why don't you just give me that call that day and see if I have time to do it and we'll slide you in if possible. Otherwise, I just can't keep on doing this because it is it's it's affecting my income. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And but the reality is it's not like you're going to have an open slot. Like it's no, like <laughs> and that and they'll figure that out very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not going to say that really to them. They know my schedule. Okay. That, you know, um and who knows? Maybe I would. Or uh, I give it to someone else in the salon that wants to do the pedicure. You okay. know, I can't do it, Habib. Uh, you know, I, awesome that you called ahead. Um, I can't do it, but you know what? So-and-so can do it, and she can do it right after, before, right after you. My, Perfect. Your appointment with me. Perfect. I love it. You're, 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 you're allowing a little bit of space, but you're, you're still... Yeah letting them know yeah that's second time's it this that's is, it this is not happening end again. of story okay perfect okay let's talk about another situation that comes up that we've had people ask us about which is indecisive clients mm -hmm. how do you deal with indecisive clients they come in um you're ready to go and it's like they're still depending on if you have a wall of color they're standing there they're picking they're you know five minutes has gone by ten minutes gone by so so let's Let's run through this. Okay. Okay. So, hey, I know it's my appointment. I'm going to I'm going to grab a color real quick. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, you got about 5 minutes. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh-huh. 5 minutes passes. Let's say it's like 7 minutes. Would you then approach me? At that oh, point? yeah, you'd be sitting in my chair. When your appointment's <laughs> scheduled, you'd be sitting in my chair. Okay, am I am I looking at what if okay, so if, if I'm at a wall, do you say, hey, come have a seat. We got to get your appointment yeah. started. Hey, Habib, come on over. Let's talk about what you found or what colors you're liking. Then maybe I can find what you're looking for. Cool. But we need to get started. Okay. I Trace, this is, I love like seven of these colors. I can't decide. This is really hard. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Habib, come on back. You got to, you're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me i gotta get the next person in you know i'm pa i'm i'm back to back just like when you you come here i need to be on time for you so you know what come sit down you have until i've finished prep to look through the colors that you're looking through there's the color pops but by the time prep's done i need to know what you're getting or it's dealer's choice 
I just can't decide though. I'm, I'm, I really want to know my color before we start. Can't can you just give me like two more minutes? Okay. If you don't decide but by the time I'm prepped, you're getting nudes and that's all you're getting <laughs> or red or maybe what color don't you like? I always play with I, them. I, I love the lightness that you're bringing to like the situation, right? Like you're, you're communicating it, but you're doing it. Your tone softly. is good. Very softly. Yeah. I, I want to communicate to my clients the way I would want to be communicated to, especially there's things we just don't realize as a client. Maybe when I go to a hair place and I'm indecisive about a haircut or, or a color, I don't know how long it takes them or what they're having to deal mm-hmm, with. Mm-hmm. So I want to be respectful of my client. Maybe they really just don't realize how that does um, affect my day right. so it's it's communicating with them softly and yeah. nicely now sometimes you have to get more to the point but yeah um i think usually if you give them that that you know hard set how this is this is the time there is no if ands or buts or you only get this because you it's just like showing up late right really right it is it, it, it's the same thing because you're not starting your appointment until later yeah and so if if it does drag on i mean eventually like, let's say you, we get through prep and you ask me. Yeah. So you get through prep. Okay, what color? What, what do you want, hubby? What did you, you decide? Trace, I, I I don't know, but I don't want nudes. I I just, I, I think it's between these three reds, you, you know, know or maybe it's a green. I might go crazy. Okay, well, let's do all of them. <laughs> but I don't know what I want. That's okay. I'll figure it out for you. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to. You got, you, you know what? You trust me, right? You've been coming to me for how long? Come on. Have I ever steered you wrong? Let, let's get started. Perfect. That's great. That's great. Confidence. 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 And and they know, literally, it's going to be better if you just let me decide anyway, because you're undecisive, so you right. don't even know. Right. So like, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be fine. I'm not going to get, Habib, you, it's I'm my, not going to do you wrong. I've, I tell them all the, this all the time. I'm not going to let you walk out of here because you're, that's my name. I'm not even worried about you. That's my name on your hands. When you people ask, they're going to say, you're going to tell them I did them. So don't worry about it. That's a great, great line right there. Yeah. Is I'm more concerned about it. And it it's makes true. sense. It's true. It's my name. I'm, yeah. I'm more concerned about it than they will ever be concerned about it. Yeah. Because, you know, 50 people probably are going to see them or more and they're going to ask who did your nails and if it's bad there's like who did those nails yeah yeah yeah. what who put that color combo together yeah Yeah, that's good i i really like though even in play and fun you're letting them know look you're pushing me back remember like i don't do that with you i try to i i've got to keep a tight schedule like this is super important all those things are huge and in the end if the client's still not getting it you're gonna have to then it's, it's, it's a it's a different discussion it's, it's, a different it's discussion. basically like listen more serious this is more of you uh really causing issues with my day um i need you to be decisive uh it, it's pretty much just like you being late and as you know if you're 10 minutes late you're not going to get something done probably that's right and if you're 15 minutes late i don't do you right. so you're running into that area where even though you're here you're still not here perfect yeah that's great in yeah. in you can say it to them clearly and nicely. nicely. It doesn't <clears throat> have to be nasty. Yeah, nicely. Yeah. You can be honest but kind. Yeah, and then do I have to have another conversation? Then it is a little more matter of fact totally. and to the point. Totally, if it keeps pushing on. Yeah. Okay, let's go with the next topic, children. Mm, small humans. Small humans. <laughs> You've had a small human in your life. I've got I, small humans yeah. in my life. Mm-hmm. We are parents. Yes. We understand but when it comes to this, what does that conversation look like? Okay, I bring my kids in. Let's say I show up to my appointment. Like, okay, you ready? Okay, Let's do I'll it. Walk through the door. Trace, I'm so sorry. I, like, if I didn't have my kids, I'd be late. And I know how you are about being late. So, look, they'll be good. I promise. They'll be good. They're not gonna. They're not gonna cause any issues. I already had a major talk with them the whole way here. Are we? Are we cool? You know, Habib, I, I get it. I've been in the same situation. Yeah, if they can sit there and 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 they're not disturbing anyone, I'm perfectly cool with it. Let's let's get started with your appointment. I am letting you know though, if we run into issues, um, I can't prolong your appointment. And if they're disturbing other people in the salon, you're probably just going to have to leave, pay for the appointment, and maybe you know reschedule later um, because of it. So, but cool. Let's 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 give it a whirl. They they seem like good kids. Okay. Great. 
let's say they're not good kids. <laughs> <laughs> let's say they're not good kids. So yeah. like, and, and okay, me being the parent, I'm looking over, you guys, you need to stop. You need to calm down. Da, 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 da. So like I'm now pushing and pulling and the kids are a little out of control. Yep. What, what does that look like? Do you just like, do you just sort of uh, grind through it through the 50 minutes, 45 mm-hmm. minutes to the appointment? It just really depends where the appointment is. So probably what I would say is, hey, Habib, um, we're going to stop for a second. I need you to have a conversation with your kids. They've really got to stay in place. I don't know, you know, if the iPads or whatever it is. Um, why don't we, you know what, let's let's do a little maintenance, a gel polish real quick on top. Um, that way you can get going and the kids aren't um, disturbing anyone's peace in the salon. You know, and then we'll get you the next time. We'll probably have to revamp a little bit more the next time you come in. Okay, cool. Um, so it is a, it's hit the pause button. It's a hit pause button. Yeah, you I've, have to. I've unfortunately had to, uh, cause I, my salon was upstairs and one time I was visiting the hair salon downstairs, just having a conversation with her. I wasn't getting my hair done. And I'm like, what is going on up there? She's like, Tracy, they're killing me. It, I mean, it sounded like elephants upstairs. I, so I ran. And there were kids just like going off. Just, yeah. And I, it wasn't even my client. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. You guys got to stop. You have to take control of your kid or you have to leave. And, and what was the response from the client? First, it was very nice. Like, hey, guys, uh, it's really loud downstairs. I'm downstairs. So it's disturbing um, clients. It's disturbing clients. And um, so if you guys could. So they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I waited around and I went back downstairs. You know, they thought I'd left. Um, and I went to check on my downstairs neighbor and it sounded like it again. So I went upstairs and told them they had to leave. Uh, unfortunately they weren't happy with me and I was very nice about it I'm like listen you you're first of all you are going to get me in trouble with the landlord you know you know and I don't blame them for complaining because it is very loud loud. um so you're gonna have to come back at a different time and here was the insane part about the whole thing there was two people there at the appointment so one was holding the baby the other one was getting their nails done I'm like get up and leave. Yeah. I couldn't understand it, but yeah. So I'm like, no, this isn't working. You yeah. Have to leave. And that's the thing. I mean, obviously you don't have control of that. What you do have control over is communicating like, mm-hmm. hey, I I understand yep. you, you had to bring your kids in today, even though I have a no, no kids policy. Yeah. I'm cool with it as long as they can sit. As long as they can sit you know, and be quiet. And be quiet. Yeah. And I just explained to it. It's just, you know, everybody wants to relax, including you. When you come in, you want to relax. And yeah. plus liability insurance reasons. That's I, right. They can't just be running they around. They can't just be running around. That's, that's huge. And yeah. having that conversation, look, I'm so, so, so sorry, but like we can't continue. Yeah. Like you guys, unfortunately, like you, you have to leave. Yeah. Um, but like, let's talk again. Yeah. Let's have another conversation to get you back in here. But yeah. I can't because it, it is liability. It's causing issues. My, the people downstairs, you're going to get me in trouble. My landlord talking like that with that tone, the way yeah. that you did, you just got to do it. It's not easy. No. Like we're not saying it's easy. Even when you're talking nicely, it's not easy. It's still not easy. I always put myself in the person's shoes and how I would feel and embarrassed I would feel. Right. But, um, you know, so that would be the first time if they brought their child back. I, I, well, actually, before you left, I'd be like, Habib, we uh, just won't be able to have it where your kids come the next time. Just right. just because it just, it just didn't work out. Right, um, but, right, right, right. So the first time I'm understanding. Second time, not so understanding. Right, of course. Yeah. And have that conversation. Okay, I like it. Let's go to the last situation. This one's going to be fun. Uh-oh. Inappropriate oh. conversation, which... so. What defines inappropriate conversation? It's going to be something, obviously, that you're not comfortable with well, let's hear in it. the salon. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, in the salon. It's different. It's different, right? Like, so if part of the salon experience for a lot of salon goers is like a mini therapy session, yep. right? Where they can go and it's like, I got, I got to get out of here. I need to relax for an hour. I want to talk to my nail tech. I want, you know, you want to you want to talk. Right. Um, but when it's inappropriate to me is when the nail tech is like, you know what, I, I can't listen to this anymore. Right. It can be as mild, like it's gonna be different for everybody. It is right? gonna be different for everybody. So some people can take a lot, some people yeah. can't take anything. How do you address it? How do you have that conversation? So I figure let's run through an example. Okay, let's do this. Okay. What are we talking about? So we're gonna talk about 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> um, so, so let's, okay. I'm Tracy. You could just be like, beep, beep. I'm, I'm, oh, we're talking, well, I'm not talking Either language. Way. I'm talking subject matter. Okay. So like, Either like, way. like I, I, Tracy, I have to tell you, you know, I've been, obviously, you know, I've been married for a long time and I've got, I love my kid, my, my kids and my family, but listen, I met somebody mm. and I am like infatuated. I've been having meetups and like, listen, I think I might leave my family. I don't know what to do. Like, what do you, you know, I'm getting my nails done. I'm having this conversation with you and it's like, be like, first of all, what's your spouse's number? Because I'm blackmailing you from now on. I expect three hundred dollars each day. Each day, that's cheap <laughs> for blackmail. You got to go in the thousands, man. <laughs> it's a day. A day. <laughs> We're starting there. I feel like Habib. Whoa. <laughs> Have you heard of TMI? <laughs> <laughs> no, but but I feel Tracy, you're like my one of my best friends like i i've been coming to you for years and i know this is kind of sounds crazy but i feel like i can talk to you and like i'm just i'm just kind of i want to just have this conversation like i feel close to you you know i really appreciate that i i like that you feel comfortable talking to me about certain things and definitely mutual we've been we've been doing this for a long time however I would just say that there are some information I don't need to know. And I think for your sake, even like sharing that information, you may regret sharing that information. Are you going to tell somebody? Of course. I'm telling everybody. (laughs) No, of course not. But I'm not comfortable with that. I don't. That's a lot of uh, weight for me to carry Mm -hmm. as a person, you know. And um, again, I value your friendship so much that I wouldn't want this to ever come back. And you go, you know what? I should never have told you. And that ruined our friendship and our client uh, um, relationship. So I think some things are just best left unsaid. Cool. I like how you said it. And like that response could be anything yeah. Anything I'm talking about, whether I'm having an affair or this, I, I'm, I just went there because I'm trying to think of like the what most- What would be inappropriate. What would yeah. be insane. Yeah. And like, and I'm sure the conversations that a lot of nail pros hear is like off the it's, charts, it's right? It's insane. And they do share that kind of information or, you know, even just cussing or talking about what they did last mm. night and it just goes off in a, a totally different direction. Well, can, can we do, can we do that one real quick yeah. before we wrap this up? So like, Tracy- like I'm getting my nails done. So Tracy, I can't bleep and bleep this bleeping son of a bleep did this to me. Like, I'm so upset. Like I, I'm, I'm raising my voice in this one. I'm so upset. I can't. Can you believe be, that? Be, there's other people here. No, so I know Tracy, I know but you you sound really upset. I am so bleeping pissed. So you, you got to tell me about it because I want to know why you're so upset. But remember, there's other people around and you don't want obviously probably don't want people knowing this conversation. So bleep them. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Then you're out. <laughs> <laughs> you're like Habib, you know. Um but go on, but let's let's try to keep the language out of it cuz you know and Got it. What what's going on? Why are you so upset? I love it. I love it. Yeah, so keep the language out of it. Let's keep let's keep the yeah. voice down. See, every time I bring up a situation you're clearly communicating to me in a very nice tone with a smile. Yeah. With a smile. Like, look, we got to bring it down. There's other people here. Plus, like, the language. Like, you're yeah. still addressing all the situation. The situation. Like, and you're not. Back and forth. Even between nail techs, it can happen. I've had to correct uh, people that worked for me sure. before on this. Um, and j- that. Especially if you do know the people outside of work and this is your personality outside of work. It can be hard yeah. when they come in to go, but what do you mean to cuss? I, you cuss all the time. Right, you know, wh- right, what are you talking about? Right, right. It's different, dif- different atmosphere. I wouldn't go to your work and start doing that. You can't right. come here and do that. And you got to think about everybody around you. Yeah. And I think it's just that like, like the outside, of course, like when we're hanging out, and, but like there's other people here. Yeah. And so I'm not going to drop f-bombs you know in in my workplace right so that's all it is yeah you know like communicating it like that yeah right? with if, a, yeah totally like if, if if it is a friend and they know you outside of work and they're just like what is wrong with you I'm yeah like, hey you know this is work. yeah this is work yeah you know i'm not gonna go to uh costco where you work and just start dropping f-bombs right right <laughs> you know exactly so i think and and making that clear is super important awesome 
I would love to know um, your take on these situations in the comments below. Have you experienced them? What have you done? How do you address them? I think this will be very helpful for people, you know, us kind of taking these roles and, and playing them out. I think will be helpful. Let us know how you deal with them. Tracy, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time on the Biz Talk. Bye.